All right, so our functionality is almost complete. The only thing that's missing is the content in the homepage. First, let's understand why that is happening. In the app.js, we have nicely nested the routes. And for the parent, we have the home. And inside of the home, we have that outlet. In there, we display product about, as well as the error page, something that I actually forgot to add last video. So if I'm going to go with hello notice again, we'll still have that nice layout, the shared one with the nav bar and all that. And in here we display the content. But when it comes to actual homepage, well, we don't have any specific content here. That's why we render pretty much nothing. We just have the nav bar. And technically, if you want, you can add that heading to or whatever content you want. But just keep in mind that that will be shared all across the components, basically the pages we have nested. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is to set up index routes. And in here, I just added some text from the react router docs. You can definitely read it through, but I think it's going to be faster if I just showcase the syntax. So if we have these nested routes for the main one, for the parent, we can set up the index route, and it has a special syntax, where we go with route, then we pass in the prop by the name of index. And this will always, always, always match whatever we have here for the parent path. So if this is going to be dashboard, then yes, this index is going to match the dashboard. However, since in our case, we have home, we have home. And then again, the same deal, we go with element. Now the gotcha here is that we still want to set up some kind of shared layout, correct? And therefore, we'll have to create a new component. And in that new component, we'll basically take whatever we have right now in the home one. And we'll add that one as a shared layout in here as an element. So whatever we have right now in the home, we'll create a new component, we'll call this shared layout. So now we'll always share this layout all across these pages, but then the home one will have its own content. Hopefully this makes sense. So now let me save this. And let me first go to a pages, then we want to create a new one. And I'm going to call this shared layout. As always, you can call this shake and bake it doesn't really matter. Let's grab the home one. And you know what also, as we'll be setting this up, we can remove that section because each of them have already that uh, section with a class name of section. So that is an overkill. So let me navigate to shared layout, copy and paste. Now let me remove this section, we don't need it. So now we have only two things. We have layout, which will have the page content, whatever is the page, the home page, the about page, the products page, and also whatever we want to put it around it. So in my case, that is just a nav bar. And once we have this one in place, let's navigate to app.js. We want to set up that shared layout first. So let's say here shared layout. And yep, of course, it breaks. So let me copy and paste. I'll say here shared layout. And now we just need to work on that index page. So if we want to set up a page that will match the parent in this nested URL structure, we go with route, then index, and then we pass in the element. So in this case, you want to go with home. And then we need to navigate and first of all, we need to close it here. But then we want to navigate to the home one. And since at the moment I'm displaying the nav bar, we want to remove some stuff where I think I'll remove both the link and outlet. I don't think we'll need it, since we already have the nav bar anyway. And then we just need to come up with whatever we want to render. So I don't want the outlet, I don't want a nav bar, I just want to go with my good old heading to and I'll say homepage. And yes, we can also remove this sucker. Like I said, yes, I purposely did this the long way to kind of showcase how we get to that shared layout and what issues we're gonna get along the way. So yes, there was a little bit of refactoring. The good news is that check out through our result, we have homepage, which displays home, then about, then products, and then 
if we have some kind of page that doesn't exist, let's say products and hello, then we display homepage and we nicely navigate back. So hopefully this is clear. Where if we want to set up this shared layout, first we need to come up with a parent. In our case, that is index. But again, I showed you example with dashboard. Whatever you type over here, that's going to be the parent. Then most likely you'll come up with some kind of shared layout. So what you want to share across those pages. And as far as the parent, you'll set up the index. So that will be the content only for the actual index and then the rest of the pages. And remember, we need to use outlet to render those results. 